Everything around us is made up of different types of materials. Some common materials include metal, plastic, wood, rubber, and glass. Each material has its own unique properties that make it useful for different purposes. For example, metal is usually strong and durable, while plastic is often lightweight and flexible. Scientists and engineers use these different materials to create all sorts of amazing things. We use metal to make cars, airplanes, and buildings. Plastic is used to make toys, water bottles, and even computer keyboards. Wood is used to build houses and furniture. while glass is used for windows and mirrors. Let's take a closer look at some different materials, where they come from and how they are used. Wood. Wood is a natural material that comes from trees, which grow in forests and plantations. It is a versatile material that has been used for thousands of years to build houses, furniture, piers, and many other things. Different types of wood have unique properties that make them suitable for different uses. For example, hardwoods like oak and maple are strong and durable, making them ideal for furniture and flooring. Softwoods like pine and cedar are lighter and more flexible, making them suitable for construction and outdoor projects. It's important to make sure that wood comes from sustainable forests or plantations. This means that the trees are harvested in a way that allows new trees to grow and the ecosystem to remain intact. Sustainable forestry practices help to ensure the long-term health of forests and the environment. Paper. Paper is a material made from plant fibers, most commonly from trees. It's used for all sorts of things, from writing and printing to packaging and art. To make paper, trees are cut down and the bark and other unwanted parts are removed. The remaining wood is then ground up and turned into a pulp, which is mixed with water and other chemicals to create a smooth, thin mixture. This mixture is then spread out and dried, and the result is paper. Like with wood, it's important to make sure that paper comes from sustainable sources. Rubber. Rubber is a material that comes from the sap of rubber trees. The sap is collected by tapping the tree, which involves making small cuts in the bark and allowing the sap to flow out. Once collected, the sap is treated and processed to create rubber. Rubber is an important material used in many products, including hoses, shoes, sporting equipment, and gloves. It's valued for its elasticity and ability to stretch and return to its original shape. Rubber can also be mixed with other materials to create different types of rubber with unique properties. For example, adding carbon to rubber creates a stronger, more durable rubber that's ideal for tires. Metals. Metals are a type of material that come from minerals found in the Earth's crust. They are strong, durable, and can be shaped and manipulated in a variety of ways. There are many different types of metals, each with their own unique properties, Metals are used in many products, from cars and airplanes to electronics and medical devices.
They are valued for their strength, conductivity, and ability to withstand extreme temperatures and pressures. Some common metals include iron, aluminum, copper, and gold. Iron is used to make steel, which is used in construction and manufacturing. Aluminum is lightweight and corrosion resistant, making it ideal for use in airplanes and cars. Copper is an excellent conductor of electricity, making it useful in electrical wiring and electronics. Gold is a rare and valuable metal that is often used in jewelry and coins. Ceramics. Ceramics are a type of material made from clay, which is a mixture of minerals and organic materials. The clay is molded and shaped, then fired in a kiln at high temperatures to create a hard, durable material. Ceramics are used in many products, from dishes and tiles to electronic components and false teeth. They are valued for their strength, hardness, and ability to withstand high temperatures and corrosive environments. Glass. Glass is a type of material made from silica, which is a naturally occurring mineral. To create glass, silica is melted at high temperatures, then cooled rapidly to form a hard, transparent material. Glass is used in many products, from windows and mirrors to eyeglasses and smartphone screens. It is valued for its transparency, durability, and ability to transmit light. Glass is also used in the manufacturing of lenses for cameras and telescopes, as well as for fiber optic cables, which transmit information using light waves. Fabric. Fabric is a type of material made from fibers that are woven or knitted together. The fibers can come from natural sources like cotton, wool or silk, or from synthetic sources like polyester or nylon. Fabric is used in many products, from clothing and bedding to furniture and car seats. It is valued for its softness, comfort, and versatility. Different types of fabric have unique properties that make them suitable for different uses. For example, cotton is breathable and absorbent, making it ideal for clothing and bedding. Polyester is durable and resistant to wrinkles, making it suitable for outdoor wear and sportswear. Plastic. Plastic is a synthetic or man-made material made from fossil fuels like oil and natural gas. Plastics can be molded and shaped into a wide range of forms and used for a variety of applications. Plastics are used in many products, from food packaging and disposable cups to car parts and electronics. They are valued for their durability, versatility, and low cost. However, plastics can take a long time to biodegrade and can have negative impacts on the environment due to the energy-intensive production process and incorrect disposal of plastic waste. This is why it's important to reduce our use of single-use plastics and reuse and recycle as much as possible. Understanding the unique properties of each material is crucial in choosing the right material for the right object. Whether it's wood for furniture, glass for smartphone screens, or fabric for clothing, each material has its own set of strengths and weaknesses. By selecting the right material, we can create products that are not only functional and long-lasting, but also sustainable and eco-friendly. Worksheets relating to this short video can be downloaded by creating a free account at ngscience.com.
Don't forget to subscribe to the NG Science YouTube channel to never miss a video.